Hey all, Johnny Mullet here. Just wanted to give you a quick camping update. Uh, we decided to come into the Allegheny National Forest here at um, Seagal, Pennsylvania. It's called Camper's Paradise. It's a really nice wooded campground. And as you can see, there's not a lot of sun. It's a lot of shade, but we should be good to go. We shouldn't have any problems. But so far, we came in last night and this has been... A very uh, crappy experience as far as getting here the mountainous road was like really really steep and windy and the bus was having a little bit of trouble but anyway she made it okay and uh, then we get here and I try to hook up the water uh, fill the water tank and the fill hose was leaking all inside the bus so we're just dealing with gallon jugs of water for now until I get home and fix it. But I do want to show you uh, an addition. I got Thunder's name there on the top of the bus now and on the back. Uh, we got this really cool dog gate. That's three pieces of fence that folds up and we can just let the dogs in and out and go as they please. They're very comfortable here, no problems. And we'll take you around to the back of the bus. <clears throat> and we also have thunder on the top back of the bus and if you notice the chrome exhaust tip, check it out. Looks pretty good. So I'll definitely have more on this here in a little bit. I just wanted to uh, talk about this camping experience we had and a few changes I'm probably going to make and I'll update you then. So we're just chilling here. Uh, today's been much better than yesterday with all the uh, hassle we went through to get here and the setup issues we had, but today's been pretty relaxing got some baked potatoes on the fire and we're gonna fire up some steaks here in a little bit and have a great dinner so all in all it's I mean it's been a pretty good experience here we're having a great time today has been very very relaxing no issues we're just getting through it and tomorrow we're gonna head out probably around noon and get on back home and get the bus cleaned up again and Get the house cleaned up. Oh yeah. You ever have steak and potatoes on a cast iron skillet and a real fire? That's the way to do it. And we made it back safe and sound. Um, all's good. It's a little bit after 3 o'clock in the afternoon here in Northeast Ohio. The bus had no problems on the way home because it was like downhill the whole way. And the way there, it was uphill. So that's why she struggled going up the Allegheny Mountains. And especially that road to the campground, that Route 939. It was a very windy, steep, and hilly road. And... Uh, I told you guys the Friday night was kind of a disaster we get there and uh, the first thing that happened is I went to fill the water tank back here under the bed and I uh, put the hose into the inlet on the outside of the bus and I noticed the water was like I don't know it making a weird noise I never heard before so I opened the back emergency exit and I seen the water everywhere and immediately pulled the hose out and shut it off and sopped up as much as I could. I don't see where there's going to be any water damage because most of the water was contained to the inside under the bed where there's no uh, vinyl flooring and the wheel well was right here anyway so that sort of saved everything from you know getting destroyed so to speak so we got lucky there and the second day um, Yesterday, which would have been Sunday, we spent all day and 
it was a very relaxing and calming vacation. I mean, after all the drama from Friday and then after we packed up and left and came home, everything was perfect. So just wanted to share the camping experience. Oh, and by the way, that steak was phenomenal. The potatoes were excellent too. So nothing beats, you know, food cooked on an open fire. It was pretty awesome. But anyway, we're back home and uh, we're going to finish cleaning the bus up. It's not too messy, but a little bit. And I will get back with you guys on a pretty important video. We're going to do some major maintenance and repair because the first thing that happened was my parking brake quit working. That was another fiasco for Friday night on the way to the campground when I set the parking brake and something went wrong. Crawled under the bus and I found the cable was broken. So... Um, besides the parking brake cable, I am going to do a complete service on the rear brakes, and that includes pulling the hubs and wheels and calipers and pulling the bearings out. I'm going to make a video so you guys would know what you're up against when doing hydraulic brakes and if you have to replace rotors. So stay tuned. I got more coming. <laughs> 